Aloha, hey, it's Julie Zemelis and Lance Owens with Louver Real Estate. And we are here with your March real estate market update for West Hawaii. And um, we were both commenting before we sat down that uh, we should get a fire extinguisher because it is hot out there. <laughs> so uh, we are going to talk about numbers and statistics and we're going to take some questions and answers. So start thinking about putting all of your questions in the comment section. We're also filming this for YouTube. So the YouTube people, are, um, if you put some of your comments and questions down, uh, Lance and I can check those later. Try but, to follow up on those. And yeah. then the people up on the uh, live on Facebook, go ahead and we'll answer those live. We're also going to be doing a um, prize giveaway today. What are we giving away? We're giving away a, a $50 gift card to Magic's Grill uh, for the people oh, that's who right. are... that's right. I donated. That's right. He donated <laughs> I this. For the, uh, <laughs> he's, so, he's, he's so crazy <laughs> trying to go out there and show people's homes. Um, so um, we are going to be seeing who is looking live, who is from the Ohana, the 365 Ohana group. This is one of the benefits of membership of the uh, Ohana group. And if you want to join, you can go to the move to Hawaii365.com uh, page and join the Ohana. And what we're asking to get into the group is that you are willing to work with one of our wonderful real estate partners. We've got a variety, um, but uh, you can win fabulous gifts and prizes every single time we do a live update. <laughs> so with that, Lance, let's see uh -huh. overview. I was watching a real estate update from Southern California today, and one of the guys said, the people who are hurting the worst are the home buyers who uh, bought high in 2005 and lost their shirts in the recession. And I'm like, oh, that would be me and Eric. So I am not laughing at anybody's problems with the housing market because I'm right in the middle of it all with all of you guys. So, you know, yeah. You just got to have humor throughout this. Yeah, you know, I mean, what are you going to do? So, so, you know, so. we're praying to Pele that something good's going to happen for us. Yeah. So. so, well, one of the things, if you guys are working with any of Julie's um, agents, the, uh, realtors, myself, or anybody else, you know, one of the big things that we're kind of requiring on an offer right now is that you are going to make up the difference between an appraisal price and a um, in the sale price, mm -hmm. yeah, because it, it, it is a seller's market, mm -hmm. and the, they're going to start taking more people with cash only type of deals, and they're out there. So, and they are paying for over. So, right. if you want the property and you've got, say, you wanted to put 30, 40, 50 percent down, maybe you do a 20 percent down uh, offer when you write it, and you keep that extra money to make up the difference because. The, the appraisals are not keeping up with the values, so yeah. that's the hardest thing that yeah. we're coming across. So now, get so. this, and a little extra little <laughs> side note for the finances of America, is um, when I was listening to that real estate report, um, they were saying that uh, the appraisals are basically kept not so that they keep chasing a, a fast moving upward market. Mm -hmm. So Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac actually kind of put a stop gap in place so that you wouldn't chase up a market. They don't want to see. They want to see cash in. They don't want to see mortgages in. And so basically, a lot of the, the, the appraisal aspect of this is is that they're almost trying to like thwart what's happening right now. They're trying yeah, to they're stop trying this to control crazy market, it. market it, right? It, yeah, they're trying to control a market, and that's never good when anybody controls a market. You know, that's the hard thing. And, and I don't like this market going up by any means at all. It's a little bit too crazy. I don't like it. But when somebody tries to control it, you know, I, tell you, I mean, the, the, here's a horrible thing, and it's not somebody in this group, um, but somebody else had, had uh, gone through the, we, we went in, we had offers on a property. It was a little bit under asking. We went into escrow. These people spent um, $400 for home inspection. They spent $600 for appraisal. They spent $600 for tickets to come out and look at it. And the appraisal itself came in $24,000 shy of the sales price. Mm -hmm. And um, they lost it. You know, the seller said, no, I'm not going down. In this market, I'll turn around and sell it. And we did turn around and get a full price cash offer. And, and so by Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac trying to control the market and doing what, you know, if they had appraised it at the 24000 more that it is obviously worth, because now yeah. two people were willing to pay that price for it, had they done that, now somebody else that doesn't have the money and can't afford to uh, to to take that loss. I mean that's a huge loss. You know they lost a couple thousand dollars. Yeah, to be able to do that thing. And and the market went up that much more. During the time they were waiting. Him. So yeah. they're kind of Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac just locked them out of this market. Really, yeah. I think that's what happened. So yeah. and maybe that's good. Maybe it's bad. I don't know what the end answer is going to be in that. But but well, it's and, a reality. and the thing is, sadly, is that uh, like you said, when you can try to control the market, that um, with all the money that's being poured into the housing market right now. Mm -hmm. It, it, it's you can't control the market because people are willing to pay whatever it takes yeah. to make it happen. And, and that's what's saving the economy that. right now. Yeah, I mean, that's the housing market is definitely saving the economy. Yeah. Saving the economy. Yeah. For, did you know that for every one house sold, seven jobs are also touched by the housing market? Mm -hmm. So, yeah. 
the so, appraiser, um, the, the yeah, the, uh, the realtors, the yeah, the, the, realtor. the, the carpet dude, the you know, the Home yeah. Depot people, the, the window the, cleaner, yeah, the, everybody. You know, we're calling out all these specialists, the pool inspector, yeah. the pool guy, yeah, you know, all this stuff. It's yeah, all our construction stuff. market is on fire right now. Yeah. Oh, speaking of, okay, so you guys, okay, so now we're gonna get to the the. the numbers. We're not gonna give you the numbers. No, <laughs> Sorry, yeah, we're gonna give you the numbers. But Eric says that maybe somebody has a question. We got all kinds of people talking. Oh, we got all kinds of people. Oh, and also uh, everyone gave a little hearts and waves, a little hearts for Eric Zemlis, who's behind the camera. Did anybody see the pictures I took out from the Julie's in Eric's house when I walked in the door? All right, so we've got all right. Moving on, we got Laurie says aloha from Oklahoma. Lance uh, Bond says aloha. Brad says aloha. Julie, Lance, and cameraman me. Uh, JJ says uh, aloha. Exciting day. And Jenna says yippee prizes too. Yes. <laughs> and then Brad says, for years, young potential buyers stay out of the market preferring to rent. COVID caused many people to reevaluate, uh, and many who had been living in apartments have decided it's time to buy their own home, causing an inventory crunch. And JB sa JJ says, I know I shouldn't be wa waiting to buy my, uh, I knew I shouldn't wait to buy my condo. I had a feeling things were, were going to heat up. Yeah, you're yeah. smart, Jay. You got, uh, you got, you got yeah, it good yeah. there. Right. That's, um, there you go. And then we've got, and says Lance, uh, good job, Eric. Was the last one. <laughs> <laughs> good job, Eric. <clears throat> we do. Without Eric, we wouldn't be here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But there, there might be a bunch of people who are watching this from YouTube who don't understand our little oh, and comedy so back and forth. So uh, <laughs> moving on, moving on. Okay, all right. So we're going to do the numbers here. Um, what we are looking at in West uh, Hawaii more so, you guys, real quick, all the numbers are posted up on the Facebook page, so it's all there. Um, so you can look at it later. So. Right, and then people on YouTube, I'm going to actually be writing a report and putting it up on the blog Putting at uh, 365hawaii.com. No, it's moving to hawaii365.com. I'm getting that. And yes, I will make a blog post of it and put a link into the, uh, the comments. And because there are so many different uh, areas on the Big Island here that we actually, we only pick one area to go over, and that is West Hawaii, uh, North Kona. Um, so here we go. Residential sales, number of sales statistics for the month of February are up 62% over last year. And last year was a good year. We hadn't hit the COVID drop yet. So, February, um, yeah. yeah, so it was good. So we went from 43 sales to 70 sales. So it's a 62%, 62.79% uh, increase. Uh, condominiums, remember we've been saying for months now, watch condominiums, watch it. A couple months ago, I think we said it's time to, to do it if you're going to do it. And uh, you're still... Um, it's gone up. It's going up. It's going up quickly. Um, mm -hmm. Condos we always talked about. At Elite Ilani, I'm seeing in the 400s now. Wow. Uh, one came on at 2.99 the other day in and preview. I, I, yeah, and I threw it to somebody. What happened with that? Did it, did it go like this? Did it go? Like uh, it's blockers? been in preview, and it, no, it hasn't oh. left yet. So, okay. So yeah. 2.99 Elite Ilani, but it's probably going to. It's go probably going to go a bit up. Yeah. So So without a deal. So condominiums went uh, up. The number of condominiums sold went up 37 percent. So we went from. 37 last year to 51 this year, that's 14 units increase, bringing us a 37% increase in the number of units sold. Okay, and pricing? Um, pricing, we're going to get to that in a minute. Okay. I'm going to just do land really quick. Oh, land. Vacant okay. land. Vacant land went up 83%. Um, I think that number's dropping. If you guys remember October, we were up 260%. <laughs> um, and then we were up 100 and something in, in um, November and December. So... Uh, we're at 83% because the land's gone. Right. Developments that have been out there four or five years that have had probably Kona Uplands, um, Kona, what's the one above Costco Road there? Kona Highlands, I yep, think. Yep. Yeah. A couple of them up there. Is that there. the one with the eight parcels that have been sitting there forever and all of a sudden they all got bought out? Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. Yep. Okay. So it's like everything's in escrow, everything's going. So uh, we went out looking at parcels today with some clients actually from in this group. I won't call out your name because we want to go put in offers, but uh, you know a lot of the parcels have jumped up from three fifty now to four fifty range. So they wow. are going. We'll see what the medium price. I did not look at that medium price yet. Okay. So we will jump over okay. um, to medium price. Again, you guys have this in the group and uh, median sales price. Jump into it. Uh, North Kona Homes went up twenty three percent from a year ago today. Mm -hmm. Uh, a year ago today was at 770. Today's median price for Kayla Kona is 950,000. Um, if you've been watching our show over the last couple of years, a lot of times we'll say, "Well, February, that's not a real number. It's kind of could be one yeah, or so, two." So it's a four million dollar yeah. house. Yeah. 
Not so this year. That's a real number. So that's where it's happening. That's what's going on. We just had somebody in the group here uh, want a four-bedroom home for under a million dollars. And I think I came up with seven, I think, is all that's out there. Under so, um, so we don't have a lot of inventory, obviously, and so those prices are kind of real this time. Uh, interesting thing I threw you on the last page. I don't have that here. I didn't print that up. It was several pages long, uh, but we can look at it. The... Um, the single family homes, I went ahead and posted everything that sold oh. from February 1st to February 28th. Yeah. So you can look at it yourself so you guys oh, see, okay, what, good, see good. what popped up. And does up. that have the uh, list versus sales price too, so they can see uh, what's happening? Yes. Okay. It has list price, sales price, and at the bottom it has a summary from original list price to, to, uh, to sale price from list price to sale price. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah, sort of. Okay. So, but right. I asked I asked uh, Lance about this. Um, it seems, in general, most of the houses are going for five percent over hundred, like uh, at list price. You said it's one hundred and five, right? So, hundred means they went at list price. The extra five percent is five percent over the cost of the list price. Yes. Oh, the oh, so I just pulled this up. We got the summary up here, and again, you guys have access to this. So. Um, sale to original price, the highest was 109% mm -hmm. was what it sold over. Average was 98%. Median was 99%. Okay, so so this is not Silicon Valley where it's going over $200,000 over asking. And I've seen that here, too. 200000 250000 over asking. Wow. Oh. And that was on a million-dollar listing that was appraised at, at a million dollars uh, a week before it went on the market. So... It's happening. I'm seeing them go over. We got a home on here that we put an offer in on at full price, and I just saw it went fifty-two thousand dollars over. It closed uh, fifty-two thousand dollars over. So I'm seeing twenty, thirty, forty, fifty thousand is not abnormal. The the two hundred and fifty thousand over with uh, blew me away. Here, in, here in, Kona, uh, that was actually South Kona. That was uh, well in South Kona, but yeah. that must be a beautiful house. Is that well, <laughs> it? Was a beautiful house. Yeah. <laughs> It was a nice house. It was a nice house. It was a five-acre coffee farm. It was it was nice. I'd be proud to own that home, um, but it wasn't. Uh, you know, I don't know. I mean, it it, was, it is a one point two million. Clearly, house. when someone pays it, it for is, it, it, it is, is a one point two million dollar house. It is, and and it appraised at a million. You know, by an appraiser, and again, that appraisal is by somebody that's trying to control. You know. Hold back the market some, I think, mm. and then you have um, you have the fact that it is um, it, there was no offer price on it. So I typically see we we're amazed at how many times the appraisal comes in at the offer price yeah. before it started going up like crazy. Yeah. But it but at this point it is um, it is uh, yeah the appraisals are not coming in at the actual purchase price. So again, if you're going to be buying in this market, you better have an extra little stash money, of cash. Yeah. If okay. you want it, I mean, yeah. you know, it's just you no. Know, the the sellers aren't negotiating back down to that. And it's not happening. Um, I have seen and don't anybody in California take this personal, but I know it, uh, it's a trick that I've seen a lot from people over the years. They'll come in if they do end up going over, they put in that escalation clause. You guys are familiar with escalation. No, they're clauses. not. In fact, I saw that Lula was talking about that. Can you okay? If you guys like just just a little terminology here in Hawaii, uh, real estate, an escalation clause is one thing that a buyer uses to make sure that he's the winning bid on the on the property. So what he does is um, just round this off at a million dollar offer, and he says, "I will escalate my my offer." And we had one of these on our million dollar listing that would escalate it ten thousand dollars over the highest offer price you have, mm. and but you have to show me a bona fide contract that says that a third you know it would have to be a, um, a third party uh, um, drawing a blank on the uh, terminology I'm looking but you know just a hint it's um, non related you know it have to be a legitimate bona fide offer if you can show that this person would go ten thousand over. And that's a very common um, thing done in a lot of cities on the mainland. California is the most famous one. Silicon for Valley. It. I remember that that um, was going on in 1999. And uh, to me, my advice to my clients are, if they're not willing to go in now, they're not committed. You need to go with an offer of a committed price, and that's what you need to go with. If these people Wait are saying, so, so if you've got a guy who's basically saying, no matter how much you offer, I'm going to ask, ten, I'm going to offer ten thousand dollars yeah. more than that. How do you even win in that game? This guy's not committed. That person, many, many times, comes back during the home inspection, and things come up, and he wants that money right back. And it's it, it, it's a game that's played by a lot of, um, 
And again, don't be, don't be <laughs> You're offended. You're talking to Californians. But, 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 yeah, it, 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 it's, a, it's a thing that is, is common around there. And so what happens is you outbid it, and when the inspection comes back, you're like, oh, I want $20,000 credit for what for what I'm doing. And, and you're ready to close, and you things think, you know, they've got the money spent, they've they put an offer in on a property they want in the mainland, and it's kind of like... And they have like, no choice. They have no choice. They're, they're putting the gun in... Um, People are, uh, sellers are walking away from that, right? Oh, yeah, they are? Yeah. Yeah, they're saying, no, well, I'm not doing it. I'm done. Sorry. Going back on the market. So, okay, so, so would you suggest then that people put in backup offers? I would put in backup offers. I would put in a backup offer, yeah. Okay, just in case something like that happens. It, because of the financing. And they know that you're the nice problem, guy that's not going to come nice in there and play a little freaking little financial yep, games. Yep. And right? I would have your agent talk to the, the listing agent and say, hey, I'm in. I'm committed. If you want to counter back to me, I'll tell you, but... When they do that escalation clause, um, I'm not a fan of it, and I, I educate my clients on that. So, some people think it's the best thing in the world. Well, and I mean, it's, 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 and this is what happens with competitiveness and greed in yeah. America. So, yeah. don't get me started. Um, I've also heard that uh, they're playing the uh, um, send the seller a uh, love letter. Love letter. Yes, love letters to the seller. And I've heard from some of my bigger brokerage friends saying that that is a slippery slope of not don't good. Don't do it. Don't do it. It's um, NAR is telling us to not do it. Mm -hmm. um, I'm glad our brokerage finally kind of stood behind that and said, "Don't do it. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not a good thing." It does touch hearts to some people, but it, it is such it slippery can, slope. It's such a slippery slope with um, with Ethics. the fact that mm -hmm. ethically, you know, you could be doing something that's against fair housing. Right, because you can put a little picture of your little white family in your little envelope. Yeah. And say, look at this is our little family that wants to live here, right? Yeah, yeah. And so it's just it's 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 not fair, right? It's, yeah. So. It's not good. It's not a good thing. Yeah. Much people think it is. It's I know, and again, here we go. It's clever. Right? It was clever. <laughs> it was clever. It was Until clever. Can cancel culture came along. Yeah, yeah. So uh okay. And there's a lot of agents that don't educate their their um, sellers on that and it may still work for a while and you may have an agent telling you that's the best thing, you know, let me get that in there. But yeah. NAR is, is against it and um and it, so it's not a good thing. I heard people are getting sued for that. I I've heard that it's very very yeah. yeah. I don't know that personally here, but on the mainland they do follow up on that stuff, yeah. and it goes it goes to the same thing. You know, if it's a gay couple that sends a picture in, and it's somebody that doesn't want that in their neighborhood, or something, or somebody that does want it, you know, it can be so. There's yeah. so many different things from not wanting kids, and you know, like yeah. here's this cute little family, and my neighbors both told me don't I don't want kids. any kids. Do not sell this to kids. So now I'm looking. I love my neighbors. And here's this two identical offers, and one's got six kids, and one doesn't. They've just made a choice based off of family status, family, you know. Yeah, family so status. You can't do that. That's you can't do that. It's, it, and so, and you've aided and abetted in that decision making off of that. So, yeah. and they are getting, um, they're they're cracking down on that. Yeah. So. yeah. so you guys, this is like stuff that's just coming up now. I mean, obviously, yeah. it happens in the hot market. So this is this is life. So. Yeah. Don't get um, yourself in the middle of one of those. Yeah, I know. The last don't, thing don't, you don't, want to be don't, is don't. in that. Um, so. Okay, so it's a pricing. Can we talk about pricing? <laughs> we did the homes, 950. <laughs> we got off track again like we always do. So we are going to vacant land next. Vacant land, uh, median sales price jumped up 98%. Oh, Went from 252000 uh, average sales price a year ago to 500000 And I am seeing... Um, a, a lot of it escalated into the fours, yeah, uh, high fours and fives. So could be a little bit of skew there on on that, but I am seeing everything that could you could have bought in the three fifties a year ago in the in the high fours. Now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, condos, <laughs> and this goes right to the point. Three twenty five. How many years you guys saw us? We've been bouncing around bouncing at three twenty five. Yeah. Even Eric shaking his head, saying, "Yeah, I've heard that too many times." Median price on a condo four hundred two right now. So twenty three percent increase. Oh, year over year. What over the year? Yeah, Do you know what month over month might be? Month. Oh, you know what? I'm sorry. That was month over month. Okay. Year over year was seventeen percent. Okay, so just month over month, twenty three percent. Month over month, February twenty to February twenty one. Those months were yes, was twenty three percent. No, no, no that's, that's year over year. From last year to this year, that's year over year. No, I'm talking about February of last year. Yeah, but what about January to February? The whole year, if we went the entire year to... Oh. Like, so so oh. all these people who started going, like, goes, oh, maybe I should get a condo. And then they start thinking, you know, in December this year, I think maybe I should get a condo. Uh -huh. And then they go, oh, oh, let's look, look, let's look in January. And then they decide to buy in February, right? 
-hmm. And then all of a sudden the prices start going up. Mm -hmm. So did it go up like 15% just month to month or was it you think like 5%? Probably, you mean over last, you're talking about last month? Over last month, month. yeah, so yeah, like month, because this is what happens in yeah, the tax market, yeah, and I'm sorry, it starts to go month over month, the, the, you yeah, know, those old yeah. nighties, so. Yeah, yeah, so, uh, and the big increases have been the last three months, and I will try to pull that record for you. Okay. Is this that way you guys know what you're competing against, and yeah, you're doing yeah. for it, yeah. And, um, I can tell you personally, yeah, it's been pretty much in the last three, four months is when the condos have, have skyrocketed. Because people all can't afford the single family home, yeah. they're going down into the condo market, yeah. Do you have questions there? Um, I got a Lori, uh, Lori says very good ethic advice ethics advice is what she says oh thank you thanks that's okay. it okay. they're they're just glued to your conversation <laughs> <laughs> yeah. this should be a podcast I mean this is this is a conversation that's happening in real estate markets around the country right now yeah yeah and right? we need we've been saying a podcast for I know, a year now I know I know so. I know I know it is, we're gonna make it happen um, oh and then they told me to stop banging on the table sorry oh I'll, I'll stop doing that <laughs> especially on the mics on the table yeah yeah my, <laughs> my, my favorite podcast dude they had a guy that was chewing his ice <laughs> he had a hammer that chewing ice <laughs> And when you play it back, it was terrible. Real quick, uh, you guys, on page four of your report that I've given you today, we're going to look at um, final list price to sale price. That, that's a, that's island-wide. And then this, the bad thing about this is when it goes into North Kona, it doesn't break it down between homes, lands, and commercial. It just oh. says North Kona. Okay. So For everything. So keep that in mind when you look at these numbers. Mm -hmm. And saturation, absorption rate, I mean. Absorption rate for residential for the island of Hawaii, 40%. Which means? Which means anything below 15% is a buyer's market. Anything above 20% is a seller's market. We're double a seller's market right now. Wow. So I've, I've never seen that rate. So Ever. Uh, that's residential island-wide. Then we go to the county of, of Kona here, and we seem to be the highest county, if you agree with me here, an absorption rate it's a 29 percent absorption rate but again once again that goes into everything homes condos land yeah and then everything does it say a billion what does it say is that billion dollars mm -hmm. <laughs> in one month they sold yeah. a billion dollars of real estate in one month yep 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 billion one and that is for everything combined wow that's but just for no just for yeah but North think Kong. about the money that just showed up on our island a billion. A billion dollars just showed up on our island. And, and that's in Kona. Yeah. A billion that's, dollars that's just showed up in Kona. Kona. Wow. Yeah. That's pretty crazy. So let's look at the, the um, summary island-wide, how much showed up. Uh, only $2 billion for the entire island. And kind of, you know, I had a conversation with somebody the other day. We haven't had this before, I don't think. But um, somebody was talking, um, oh, we're talking about the numbers when they refer, when you watch the, the news on Oahu, and they talk about, uh, Honolulu's numbers, Maui's numbers, Kauai's numbers, and Big Island, and they combine the Big Island, and they just don't realize that the just North Kona, not even West Hawaii, but just North Kona, is almost the size of the entire island of Oahu. Whoa! So, yeah. so <laughs> when they combine our rates, you know, it's it's not fair numbers because it's two different worlds, you know, yeah, and, yeah. and and they're both good worlds. It's just it's just different. a different world on the other side. Yeah. Wow. So, so, okay, so it, it, this is totally off topic. Oh, no, here we go. Um, okay. Um, so, oh, sorry again. Uh, so somebody I, I said... That was fun. This, yeah, this was so when we were having the eruption, people were trying to describe to people how big Puna was compared to, like, things. So they said, you could stick all of Oahu into Puna. Mm -hmm. Could you stick all of Oahu into North Kona? I mean... Almost, we, almost. Really? Yeah, yeah. It's very close, um, very close numbers. I mean... So from Walleye um, down to the ocean, from North Kona all the way down to South Kona. Yep. Yeah. It's almost the size of, uh, of Oahu. That's pretty crazy. Yeah. Well, put yeah. that in your front of the wagon. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> so, uh, and, and if I can remember, I'm going to, I'm going to loosely 400, Big Island's 4,000 square miles, and I think, um, I think, uh, Oahu is 480 something square miles, and I think North Kona was high 300 square miles, wow. if I remember right. Yeah. Somebody Google that for us. It's so funny you think about this. This was covered with, um, high rises and skyscrapers. And a million people lived here. Yeah, we'd be miserable, wouldn't we? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, um, okay, so <laughs> Eric's like, oh, Eric. okay, so um, Eric, really can you we give us off. some names of the people who are on the call? Okay, and you know what, you guys, for seriously, this might help me even better. If you are a member of the 365 Ohana group and you're joining us live, ping out to Eric so he knows that you are part of the group, and we'll 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 pull somebody right now who is going to win this fifty dollar gift card to okay. uh, Magics. 
And, and, and while that's happening, Brittany says, wow, these numbers are crazy. Mike and I laughed out loud when we heard the land prices. Is that, is that Brittany Succi? Mm -hmm. Who got nice. in right at yes, the right, right time. Right. Right at the end, like everybody was afraid. Do I buy sight unseen or don't I? Or what do I do? Yeah. Can I sell your home again? <laughs> I know. Now your house is worth nine hundred thousand dollars. <laughs> it's um, yeah. So, it's, uh, uh, I okay. wish I got. So, uh, Brad says Oahu is five hundred ninety-seven square miles. Oh, so is it? So is is North Kona four hundred something then? Uh, at Brad. Brad. <laughs> Brad. Look that up, Brad. Thank you, Brad. <laughs> You're awesome, dude. He's our numbers man. Man, I've had so many numbers in my head. I hope I'm not way off on <laughs> and that. And then uh, Brit Brittany says yes. I can and, tell her uh, no. And Gina gives us a high five <laughs> is what she gives us. Okay, so Gina, what's Gina's last name? Uh, uh, Spell it out. Schnittemann. <laughs> uh, S. Gina S. Right. Okay, and, and Brad said the Big Island, oh, Big Island is 4,028. But yeah. do North Kona, the size of North yeah. Kona. That'd be interesting if somebody actually has figured that out. Well, somebody must have figured that out. It is. It's all there. Okay. So, um, Gina, is she the only person who said that she's part of the Ohana group right now? She's the only only one that has given a little high five, and okay. I assume that the little okay. Bit. So I'm going, going, gone on Gina. If someone does not say they're from the Wahana group in the next five seconds, Gina wins. Well, five, wait, what are you gonna happen then? You're gonna split the two of them, all right? Well, let's see. Five, <laughs> four, three, two, one. All right. Gina oh. wins. Nope. Oh. Uh, oh. Then JJ came in at the last minute. Okay. Oh, and then uh. Joseph also says aloha. The <laughs> Lance is here. Uh. <laughs> so now you got four. Uh, and then Sarah also chimed in. <laughs> you lurkers <laughs> uh, and, and uh joseph says, and then dave says me too on top of that. <laughs> okay so you guys ask questions real quick now that you're a part of the thing i'm just gonna write down your names real quick and then lance is gonna just go like this and pick one okay right, right in the middle let's come on oh okay okay, okay Eric, can we do that can we do it in the comments after this yeah, just yeah, so no, we're no, gonna no, any questions you guys on anything so we were out showing today real quickly we've been out showing today um uh, that's why I'm kind of really familiar with lots. We've been showing lots from basically one acre to five acres, and they've been in the price point of uh, in the 400s, pretty much. And one of the so five acres is down to 350. Sarah. So, and showed some beautiful homes. That one, did we post that one sure, in there? $2.6 million. It has two properties on it. And don't get Sarah, afraid. We do $150,000 yes. condos and, um, and anything on the way up, it, it all adds up to the end of the year. So, uh, JJ, there's there no we difference. Go. But yeah. it was interesting. You know, some some days you're showing condos all day long, and some days you're showing multi-million dollar properties, and some days you're showing just dirt. So, there you go. It's uh, today when, was all in. And when you're showing multi-million dollar properties, at least it's something pretty to look at. There you go. Mm -hmm. Okay, so close your eyes. Okay. Okay. Take your finger. Okay, and then run it up and down here. <laughs> you ready? Okay, and stop when you want. Okay, I stop. Okay, Lance Bond. Hey. There you go. So Lance, you are the winner of a fifty dollars gift certificate. All right, uh, and Lance so just chimed in too. It says how many? <laughs> anyway, uh, it says how many listings are coming out? Is what Lance Bond has asked. That would be two. <laughs> <laughs> um, we're just not seeing anything new. You know, we're just, it's, it, and if it is going, it's going so quick. There's a lot of um, ethically. We're talking about some ethics. There's a lot of things. Clear cooperation with. Um, with the um, NAR is that you have to, once you start talking about a property, it has to be at least in preview status for ever, for all the agents to see, to cooperate on it. So we're seeing tons of stuff selling, going straight from preview to sold instead of the preview active um, in contingent. I yeah, think. okay. So um, <clears throat> what's out there, you know, let me just pop real quick at today's number. And while you're doing that, I'll chime in. Uh, okay. JJ says, uh, oh, first of all, Brad chimed in and says, Puna is 500 square miles uh, for Puna. 500, right? Okay. So that's true, so 500. Yeah. Can you say a lot? It's 597. Okay, so they're about the same. And JJ says, congratulations, Mr. Bonds. Gina says, congratulations, Lance. And Lance says, thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we'll join awesome. you when you show up and you're able to have that uh, <laughs> that, that, that drink over there. <laughs> They're out of their Hulu fries, though. Yeah, yeah. So. so I do see a bunch of new listings here today. we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, oh. 12 new listings. But I'm, that's kind of uh, that's going. I've got part of Hilo included in there, too. Oh. So that's not a lot, honestly, when you look at the. What's, uh, the what's, your, what's for 329? 329, mm, 375, one bedroom, one bath, Elite E Villas. Oh. We've got somebody on here that's looking at Elite E Villas for one bedroom, one bath. 
Um, and um, just so you know, it's out. Just came right. out. Hey, it just came out. New listing today. Yep. One bath. One. Okay, so one bedroom, one bath is three twenty nine. Yeah. All, all right. So uh, Brad says North Cone is four hundred eighty nine square miles, and Oahu is five hundred ninety seven square miles. Okay. okay. Yeah. So a little off. A little smaller. Little but it's Maybe, pretty close. I mean, yeah, 487 yeah. If, you, if, you, if you built on Hawaii, I don't know yeah. if it's true, if it takes the top of Hawaii. Yeah. And uh, Lance says he'll be on the island in July, and he says absolutely he'll kill too. We okay, want to that can be, and hopefully Lance... He's taking worry, us out for drinks. I know. I hope <laughs> that you find a house. I really do. And I know that this, 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 this escalation is kind of hard. Okay, but as Eric is wrapping this up with his big finger in the air, I got to tell you guys... Um, one of my clients is uh, a mortgage company in Southern California, and they just did this uh, real estate update. And um, I just wanted to show you guys that um, one of our uh, – well, I know he's like, okay. But um, this guy who's a, who's a really you know, smart man, he basically said, people are asking, should I just drop out of the housing market for the next few years? And you know what he said? This isn't going to get any better. He said that this is like when it's a, it's like this, and maybe if it goes down, it'll go down to here. But it will never get back to where it was. Well, but then your interest rates are going up here. But that's what he said. He said the interest rates aren't going to go crazy. That's what he said. That's what because you know. He doesn't. He thinks it'll that's stay what he stable. That's what he did say. The interest rates did go up this week, just a little bit. But he basically said that you can still grab that like cheap money before inflation hits, and then the mark, and then the the, the uh, inflation will probably bring the uh, the uh, interest rates up higher. So he basically yeah. said keep competing in the market. If you really want to get into the market, don't drop out. So, that's... Good, good advice. Real quick, I'm going to post this for you guys. I want you to just look at this. And <laughs> see that. This area, and I'm going to post the picture in there, but that little green area there, that's North Kona. Okay, so when Brad just gave us the numbers, this is the little area that's almost the size it's of the, Oahu. It's the uh, uh, more fluorescent green yeah. for those people that can see yeah. it. Yeah, the kind of pastel green, green yeah. kind yeah. of thing. It was so I'm going to post it. This is where North oh, Kona, Kona is. Okay. So it's probably the top of Walleye, right? But yeah. that, that's where it is. But we'll post that. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. And um, don't forget, we're coming back to you uh, early uh, April. And um, if you want to um, get into the housing market and get those listing alerts, Lance is your man. So, <laughs> you guys, aloha. Aloha.